Hey everyone, Tommy from TechNexus and thanks for joining me this week uh, for a new set of videos and I wanted to cover three products this week, AutoCAD, Plant and Advanced Steel and, and talk about the UCS um, and how to use it and how I personally use it um, and some things I do and some things I don't do. Now in AutoCAD or anything AutoCAD based you're always drawing or drafting on the XY plane. So if I rotate this around, uh, you can see if I draw a, a polygon, then you can see we're always drawing on this XY plane. So that is based on what's called the UCS. So you can see from Autodesk AKN, it's a movable Cartesian coordinate system that establishes the XY work plane. So you're always going to be drawing in the XY work plane. And to show another example of that, if I switch to the front view, and I do the rectangle command again, you can see I'm not drawing in the X, Z, I'm drawing in the X, Y. Okay. Um, you can change the origin and orientation and, you know, it, it will set up your ortho mode and grid and all that kind of stuff. So, and if we scroll down, um, you can define new ECSs, which is what we'll go through today. Uh, and the the face you can so uh, again aligning it to another vertical um, plane I guess if you want to call it on an object uh, you can save it and then um, you can obviously reset it as well so if you get sort of lost you can go back and reset it back to sort of the world system so by default in AutoCAD you're drawing in the top view so if I draw a rectangle then you can see we've drawn it um, in this XY plane and if I switch to an isometric view then we can you know, do an extrude uh, on this and then we've got our box block whatever you want to call it so if I do the same with the cylinder okay so that's because we're drawing in the XY plane so what I can also do is I can move this UCS and I can also adjust it so you can see the X we're in the XY plane there now Okay, so if I do, oops, if I just do an extrude, then you can see we've drawn on that plane. And if I want to draw back on the top, I can grab the Y of the UCS and then switch it around. And now we're working in the top plane here. And I can do the same. I can just pick that. And then can start drawing off each of the planes so that is your UCS so if I want to reset everything back again I just type in UCS enter and by default it's set to world and then we just go enter and we're back to where we were uh, at our zero zero now if I want to rotate it around so I can just pick uh, the direction and then you can see the cursor changes and we can start uh, drafting in uh, whichever plane uh, or rotation that is there as well so and again just reset it back and then switch back to top you can see it's all reset there now again this is quite handy if you're working in vanilla AutoCAD so um, you can also set UCS by object so UCS OB and then pick an object Oh no, anyway, no 3D solid or surface. So I've got to make that into a solid or a surface. My issue with the UCS is I don't do a lot of AutoCAD work. I do more advanced steel and plant 3D where that software um, can set the UCS for you um, or you can redefine it and help with workflows. Mainly in advanced steel, the UCS comes into play a lot. In plant 3D, I don't use the UCS command at all because I generally set out projects to be in a, in a north, south, east, west direction because it works uh, better for the isometrics. So this is how you set up a UCS in, in AutoCAD. Um, if you go down and you load up the menu bar, so we can right uh, here we go. So if we go to the pull down, we can go show menu bar, uh, and there will be 
under here, so tools, so you've got the UCS um, command here, so a new UCS, so set it to face object uh, view, I wonder if we can set it to the face, there we go, so I can set it to the face uh, of this object here, uh, you can give them names, so I guess if you're recalling them up over and over again, um, then you don't have to um, sort of try to remember where you were with the UCS, so do have a play with the UCS inside of AutoCAD, get used to it. Uh, if you're an advanced steel modeler, definitely get used to it because it does get used a lot. If you're a Plant 3D user, um, I know people do use it, uh, but I find it's more more problem than, than sort of what, what it's worth. If you set up the plant project right, you don't need to be messing about with the UCS um, and, and rotating things around. You can use the compass to to rotate and set things up that way. So we'll go through that in the following videos uh, for the week. So uh, hopefully it's been a good introduction for you for the UCS. Uh, thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't, but please do subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell icon for daily notifications of all of my videos and I'll see you tomorrow for some advanced steel UCSs. See you later.